Make the best C++ game win $1,000. Wait, what? We have 12 hours to make a game using only the best programming language, C++. Am I dreaming or something? After the 12 hours are up, a professional indie game developer that you may recognize will be playing both games. Hey, this is Jonas, I'm an indie game developer. And judging which one they think is the best. All right, it's currently 3.25. We have to start at this late because Polymars lives in a stupid country, so I'm just gonna give him a call. Oh, great. What does he want? Hey, man, how are you doing? Dude, what do you want? It's the day that we're gonna make the games. Well, it's, it's also 9 a.m., bro. It's not, it's 3.26. All right, British man, just show me the theme. The, uh, it's out of space. What do you think of that one? Dude, I really don't care. Goodbye. Why am I doing this? So as you might have been able to tell, Polymars was in a pretty bad mood, so I thought I'd call him to cheer him up and sort out the final details before the jam. Hi, you've reached Polymars. How can I help you today? Uh, you, you don't sound like Polymars. Uh, yeah, I'm actually his assistant. Do, do you want me to leave him a message? We literally called- what do you mean assistant? We, we literally called like- Look bud, I, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, I could try and leave him a message or something, but uh, let's be real here. I, I don't think he's gonna want to talk to someone like you. I, I mean, no offense or anything, but- uh... Okay, could you leave a message? Sheesh. What the f- So eventually I did get through to Polymars and we decided we would give a one hour grace period to set up our coding environments and to make sure everything was good to go before we started coding. And well, that went about as well as you'd expect. Why is this not working? Oh my god! And with that, we both got to work. Alright, it's half three. We'll we'll call back again in two hours, alright? Alright, yeah. See you in a bit. Good luck. See you, man. Goodbye. God, what an idiot. Alright, so here's my idea. There's a planet in the center of the screen, and you as the player are above the planet in your UFO, and you can rotate around it. The planet's also going to have a randomly spawning node that you must hit by shooting a bullet towards it. There's also going to be meteors that randomly fly around the screen that you've got to dodge, and that's pretty much it, so let's get to work. Alright, this should actually be easier than expected. We've already got the planet set up. Cool. So, we've got some placeholder, now we just need to play it. Alright, it's been an hour, and nothing has changed. And the reason for that is because I couldn't get my debugger to work, so I've decided to become a chad and just get rid of the debugger. We're just compiling straight away, and that didn't work. So my idea is a small puzzle game with an alien drifting through space. He needs to get home, but you can't control him. You influence his movement by placing down planets with different masses and gravitational pulls. Hopefully I can have around 10 good levels with different mechanics like bouncy walls and spikes. All right, so it's been around 10 minutes, and basically I have this thing that lets you create planets by clicking with the mouse. Okay, I made a player that is supposed to be pulled by the planets. I don't expect it to work. I kind of made this part up. Don't really know physics. Oh, well, not sure what happened here, but it's definitely not working. All right, just realized I'm missing plus signs here. Guess let's see what that does. Oh, okay. What if like I make this super small? Oh. It honestly might be working. Oh yeah, I think it is. Oh, yo, that's sick. It's like, it's like orbiting all the planets. Dude, physics. This is physics. Physics, 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 physics. Well, I'm gonna, gonna make that a bit more stable. See you guys then. All right, I have an idea to make things easier. Pretty basic UFO model. All right, so I've done a little bit of playing around. Basic rotation working. So we can now bind this to a key and everything should be okay. Let's see. All right, so I've now added user input in, so I can hold A and D, all the arrow keys, and go left and right. Awesome. Now, what you just saw me do looks really simple on the surface, right? Well, it's a lot more complicated than it looks, because Raylib handles rotations super weirdly. So the smart thing to do in the normal situation would be to rotate the UFO around a fixed anchor point in the center of the planet. But that wasn't really an option this time, so instead I used a little bit of trigonometry to move the player based on its rotation relative to the planet and the fixed anchor point from before is now central to the UFO. All right, so before I move on to the coding, I'm gonna go and stretch my legs because it's been two and a half hours now. Um, what would be cool if I had one of those desks, you know, the ones that stand up, so I could just stand up and do my work, but yeah, there's no way. <laughs> 
This video is sponsored by FlexiSpot. They sent over their new E7 desk, a desk I was genuinely intending to purchase by the way, and it's super high quality. I opted for the maple wood top and it's definitely a step up from the typical IKEA furniture I'm used to having. Not only is it high quality, but it also has a motor that lets you adjust the height of the desk to whatever you want. There's a switch for floating up and down, but also four presets, which is a new feature on this desk, which means that it's literally one button press to switch between heights. The desk also features a child lock, which is great in case you accidentally tap it as it won't move anywhere. Or, you know, if you have children. And on top of that, it has an anti-collision system, which stops it from crushing objects if it gets too close. I genuinely do believe this desk is worth the price, so if you are interested, there's a link in the description. Buying a desk with that link also helps me out, so thanks FlexiSpot for sponsoring this video. How is your game doing, Bargy? It's doing much better than I thought it would be. Do you, do you want to see my game? Yeah. Let's have a look. This is the player. He's just like in the sky. I don't know. But you create planets and he moves toward the planets. Oh, that's cool. And then he bounces off of walls. Ah! And then if you hit the planet, you die. Yeah, I, I, ha I had to use the inverse square law, bro. Yeah, um, that doesn't exist. This is like the UI bar. I'm gonna make a few different sized planets. We're gonna have a few like blocks that he bounces off of, and then, then I'm gonna have like spikes. Um, yeah, no, that's really cool and all. Um, still gonna lose. Okay. Like, this doesn't change anything. Okay. Do you wanna see my game? Yeah, keep telling yourself that. Yeah, uh, no, of course I will, but. Dum, 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 dum. Does it, does it shoot or something? Um, like, not yet. Oh. I see. You're you're just taking your time. That that's cool. That's cool. You know the story of the uh, tortoise and the hare. Yeah. Well, that's that's basically what's happening here. <laughs> yeah. I guess we'll see about that. Yes, we will see Polymars. Yes, we will. Wait, no. Don't roll that clip. Don't don't roll the clip. All right. Don't don't tell Polymars this or anything. But his game is much better than mine right now. We can carry ourselves with the art. We just need to grind out the art, and we need to make the gameplay sick, and we can beat him. Okay. All right. All right, all right, we got this, we got this. So the way my gravity works is pretty simple. For every planet on screen, I calculate the direction it is in from the player, multiply that by the planet's mass, and divide it by its distance from the player squared. And I add this amount to a force. Then, after looping through every planet, I add this huge force to the player's velocity. All right, let's make some UI and let you like pick between different size planets, I think. First step, I guess, is to make a button class. All right, so I added these buttons. You can't really tell what they do yet. It basically will let you select the planet that you are currently placing. And right now, all these buttons are set to the 30 radius planet because I don't have any other planets. So that's what we have to do next. Let's go into GIMP and draw some planets. All right, it's time to make the fat dude. I'm th I think this should be like maybe Earth, not because like Earth is fat but because like relative i'm saying that more or less oh why is it so why are people, why are planets so cute what the hell they're like they i don't think planets have have any right to be this this cute looking bro anyway i'm gonna plagiarize this now so this is my boy earth let's put him in the game so this is mars and this is earth oh that's kind of sick all right i've done it this is our character that we're going with and here he is in game not looking too bad I decided to uh, get rid of the colors because I don't think they look very good and I'm going to go with a minimalist style and I think it looks much better now. Let's go with that. All right, so with the new art, it looks much better, I think. So we can actually start working on the gameplay now. Ah! There you go. So the plant's now rotating. So I'm now going to work on adding in the um, target for the player to shoot. All right, it's taken a while and this isn't going to like I've done much. I now have the node rotating around the planet and it spawns in a random position each time. All right, so I added spikes and the walls. So if you see like this, the spike kills you. As you can see, you bounce off of the walls like that. All right, here's my game. Okay. So there's a few different mechanics I will walk you through. So these are, sp these are spikes, these are walls. Uh, you can like pick the planet you wanna place down. So I'll place down Mars. Put the big dude right here. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> He's so big, dude. <laughs> That's pretty cool. You want to see my game? All right. So I have had a horrible time uh, with the whole sprite loading and stuff uh, and rotations. And I figured out a solution now using some trigonometry. But so you've got this little spaceship, dude, uh -huh. and the planet is now rotating. So this node um, can spawn in a random place and it will rotate around with the planet. And this uh -huh. is going to be the thing that you have to try and hit. Oh, that's cool. It reminds me of 
it, there's that game where you shoot like sticks into the weird like mm. do you know what i'm talking about that mobile that mobile game no idea i feel like i just need once i've added the shooting and the collision detection it's pretty much ready i'm gonna have to do some mad polish to even compete with your game i'm not gonna lie just just pay jonas some money yeah i need to make levels and then i guess like title screen sound effects whatever else i don't even know all right well prepare to lose anyway because all right yeah you know See you in a bit. Right. See you Bye, see you bro. when I'm a thousand dollars richer. <laughs> As if. Alright, it took a while, but we've got shooting in the game now, so now I just need to check the collision detection. Yay. Alright, I've added in the shooting and a text in the top left. So you can now shoot the balls and it's pretty much there now. Alright, so there are now meteors in the game. Bearing in mind we have two and a half hours left to finish. The gameplay is almost complete, I just need to make the meteors kill you. But yeah, also there is scaling on the planet, so it actually has a difficulty curve now. And on top of all of that, we have a menu. So, it's going pretty well. Uh, I'm actually quite confident I'm going to have a good game. But, you know, we'll see. Hopefully we're going to get the bag. I've added a couple more things, so you can actually get killed by the asteroids now, which basically makes the game feature complete. They get destroyed as well when they hit the planets. As you can see, I died there. Um, I also want to add in a, a particle system, and then I want to add some sounds, ah, and then we can be done. So yeah. All right, so the game is now done. I've added sound effects, and I'm an hour early. Alright, so I have the stars working in game now. If the player comes into contact with the star, it loads the next level. Um, <laughs> this dude's so funny, what the heck. Okay, so as you can see here, I implemented the UI that displays the current level and your death. So if I die, if I hit a spike, you see the death count goes up. If I run into a planet, the death count goes up. But if you beat the level, which I don't even know if this level's possible, Oh, 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 oh. Then you move on to the next level. Cue the time lapse. I don't know if Bargy's gonna put a time lapse in, but you, you should. Okay, so instead of making levels, I actually made sound effects. So. Bars. Yeah, pretty good use of my time. What? Bars. Bars. All right, I took a break from adding levels to add two things that I think will be pretty important. A retry button and a skip button. Well, you can retry if you know you already messed up. Or you can skip. Kinda epic. Hey, this is Jonas. I'm an indie game developer, one of the creators behind Islanders, and currently making a game called Will You Snail? Come visit me on YouTube if you have time. And today, I've been summoned to judge a competition between Poli Mars and Bargy. Uh, you picked a professional judge. I take this duty very seriously. 1000 bucks? What? Where's my money? <laughs> Let's get into it. I already forgot who made which game, which I guess is good, because that means I'm less biased. Let's start with this one called UFO. <laughs> of course I wanna run the virus. Click to play, so what do we have to do here? I'm slowly trying to figure this out, so I can move left and right, and I need to hit the yellow spots to get points, okay? Okay, so this is, seems fairly simple, just hit the yellow spots. What about the black things? Okay. Not not supposed to touch those. Um, it feels fairly responsive. Has a good frame rate. Oh, the planet starts rotating in a different rotation now. Okay. Um, yeah, the reaction time on these black things seems to be a little short sometimes. <laughs> Feel like the planet should be like, ouch, when I don't hit the yellow pimple. Art style is very simple but consistent, so nothing to complain here. I don't see anti any anti-aliasing though. That would have been very nice. Okay, now here we enter the random stage of the game. You just need a little more skill to pop the pimples. Okay, so here I didn't understand why I lost there. Did I touch one of the black ball thingies? Like that didn't feel entirely fair. I wish there would have been some feedback like what hit me. What happened? Why did I lose? I have no clue why I lost there. If I stay here, then I basically... 
go get hit at any time. Why? I didn't do anything. I didn't touch anything. <sighs> Rage quit. We're gonna try the other one now. Okay, Dickmoid Drift. Show me what you got. Okay, so I guess I'm this little thing here. Hey, how do I move? The game doesn't tell me how to move. Minus points for that. Oh, oh. <laughs> Even without playing, without knowing anything about this game, I instantly know what kind of game this is gonna be. This guy will have to reach the star and I can place planets and my gravity will kind of affect where, where this little creature goes. So basically I just need to create one planet Wars. and that's it. That's very interesting. I instantly understood uh, how the game works just by <laughs> clicking that one button on there. Okay, um, now I have uh, Earth and Pluto. Pluto! Is this gonna work? Yeah, okay. Very interesting, very interesting. Okay. I think I'm, think I'm gonna accelerate this, this direction and then just place one here. Okay, this is cool. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Little puzzle games. Oh, this is gonna be a hard decision in the end. Okay, but let's see what else this game has to offer in terms of level design and creativity. I don't know, this level seems a little random. I don't know what exactly I'm supposed to do. Although I have to say that the gravity doesn't seem very realistic because in reality, gravity is way lower when, when you place it far away. Let me check if that's the case. Okay, it's the case, but just a little bit. Like there needs to be an exponential decrease in the acceleration. Doesn't feel 100% right, but that's just to make me sound smart and not because it hurts the game in any way. Okay, I think I need to deduct some points here for an unreasonable difficulty curve. Because the levels before were relatively easy, now it's suddenly getting way too hard. Where's the star? What? There's no star. Oh, this is the last level. Okay, there, there is no star in this level. Then what am I supposed to do? Mars. Plus 10 points for the voice acting. Okay, I've seen enough. <laughs> so I'm terrified. Sure. He he hated my game. He he hated the physics. It's over for me, dude. Genuinely, it could go either way. Okay, I'm scared. I'm so I'm scared. scared. I'm so scared. Oh, God. Okay, I will now <laughs> give points to each of these games. Who will win the 1,000 uh, bucks? Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Stop. Why did you put that into my hands? I don't know. Okay, no, he's got rid of the bed. <laughs> it's getting serious. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. First criteria. Oh, God. Who what? has the bigger game window? Because <laughs> I don't like looking at small game windows. Yes! As we can see, oh. UFO definitely what? wins here. Oh, <laughs> what? One, lead. one point lead. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Why would he do that? <laughs> better voice acting. Which game has the better voice Let's acting? Let's go. I'm afraid I'll have to give that point to Dickmoid Drift. Oh no. Joe oh, he's trolling us. Dude. He's trolling us. <laughs> Next category. Oh, better God. space physics. <sighs> this is a tough one because obviously the topic of this jam was... Um, Outer space. Outer space. Okay. So obviously, if our if outer okay. space is the topic, we gotta judge the space physics. What do you mean physics? Mine didn't have any physics. Uh, dude, I, I think he's gonna pick yours. Yeah. He was complaining what, what about mine. Please. Big more drift takes it here. No! Oh! Let's go! <laughs> oh! The space, space physics sucks, but like the space physics in you for. Bro, it can not say so. I had to have space physics. There you go. Well, it didn't say it had to have a big window <laughs> resolution. <laughs> I okay, have facts, to look facts. at the name. Or voice acting. Maybe I should, should yeah, true. <laughs> None of these points matter. He's just, oh, he's just trolling us. What do you mean? Wait, wait, wait. Better hitboxes. Which oh, game God, has God, the better God. hitboxes? Mine. Mine. <sighs> mine. Tough decision. Mine. Please. Ha! Please. Fooled you. <laughs> Nobody gets the point. Yes! All of your hitboxes <laughs> suck. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> Next That's one. Fun. Is that cool when I look down so much? Oh, no. Oh. I hate this. I hate this. Replayability. Which game did oh, I play? Bro, I All right, I've that's won. not I've fair. Obviously, how long you play a game says a lot about how much you enjoy it. I could have made my uh, game endless, not bro. Always, but I did play um, Digmoid Drift for longer. It kept me interested and engaged for longer. <gasps> so that's one more point for Digmoid <laughs> Drift. For keeping <laughs> Wait, my so my game is more replayable. It has seven levels. That's so funny. It was the strat. Graphics. Ooh. 
Ooh. But what? I'm gonna Ooh, lose. Graphics. I'm going to lose. <laughs> that one has to go to you for because yes! oh! the colors are nicer. It has more what? contrast. You can you what? Can't draw, bro. Like, you you, can't you have two sprites. You have circles <laughs> and one <laughs> sprite. <laughs> you have one sprite in your game. <laughs> you literally have like two <laughs> sprites in your game. It's a little overloaded, maybe a little messy oh, no. down here. What? I don't really like it. I don't like that you can't really see the player character. Ah, really you idiot. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> so, I spent so much I time like drawing. Oh my god. Nicer art style. Hey, okay, you Sound. Ooh, Dude, that's literally the Raylib default font. The nice voice okay, acting. Wait, wait, wait. He added voice acting we all and already sound gave a point a for the voice acting, He's so gonna give I, sound I, to like you. The, Point for the sound in general definitely needs to go to UFO. Yes, you oh, use oh, you nice. use music from Mix nice. and Jam. What? The all the, the final category. I can't He's trolling. I can't this this one will He's trolling us. Yeah, yeah. Oh. This category is just called fun. Which game did I? I personally enjoy more. No, no, it's gonna pick you. And I enjoyed more. Oh my god! Please pick you, UFO. The winner oh, is. God. Oh god. The, the winner of this jam oh is. Oh my god. <laughs> I hate. I hate this. What is his problem? <laughs> What's going on? Take a game. Oh my god. No. It is. Oh my god, Jonas! The winner is. <laughs> the winner is. <laughs> you. No. I, I, as soon as I hear a D sound, uh, I'll be popping off. Do you really want to know? <laughs> yes! Oh my god! Yes! What? No! Uh, I, hate close, I hate that! I hate it, bro! Almost a tie, uh, but you for one. I enjoyed it just a little more. It was a little more fun. It felt a little more polished. Alright, wait, I'm back. I, like I, I took out my headphones. Here you go. Enjoy what? your thousand bucks that I luckily what? didn't have to pay. Oh, what? <laughs> Congratulations. This is rigged. This is rigged. <laughs> this is so rigged. <laughs> oh my gosh. Bro, so uh, there we have it. I'm a better game developer than Polymars. I've received my money and yeah, if you want to play the games, we've made our first collaborative itch.io pack so you can go and download the games there. Uh, we also did this same challenge in Python on Polymaz's channel, so go and watch that and make sure you subscribe to us both. Yeah, that's it. Subscribe, like, do all the things. Goodbye.